Yeah, I mean, when I got when I got fired from being a dishwasher, I really had a big moment where I was like, "Am I gonna find what I do, what I'm supposed to be doing? You know, as my calling?" I thought it maybe it's like I'm gonna find out too late. I was really worried that I was gonna be like, I don't know, like a hundred years old, and I was gonna like sit down at a piano and I'd be like, "Whoa, I'm really good at this." <laughs> But I'm too old, you know? I'm really worried. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I, I realize that I'm a bad roommate also. Uh, this is just my flaws live, pretty much, is what my comedy is. I'm a bad roommate. I realized that when I was, you know, hanging out in my room and we were talking about, like, the landlord was coming soon. And then one of my roommates, he like flipped me a quarter and he was like, how about you go down to the soda fountain while the landlord comes? Uh, <laughs> this joke is in the 50s, so it takes place in the 50s. <laughs> the, <laughs> I really like this as a roommate. I really like like the first few weeks you live with people um, where they can't like, they haven't realized they're using their body wash yet. <laughs> they're like, yeah, do we smell the same? I'm like, you're high. <laughs> we don't smell the same. Um, it, it's really nice when you like, you have a roommate that you really like mesh with. That does feel really good. Like I had this one roommate, Alex, where he, he came to me and he was like, hey, I get really stressed. So when I get stressed, I like, to, um, I like to do the dishes. It's like a nice calming thing for me to do the dishes. And I was like, that's great. Uh, and I was like, that's also perfect because I get really stressed, and when I get stressed, I like to uh, rub marinara sauce all over the plates and knives and the, the walls. Really anything I can get my hands on. It's true, it's all true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, I, I think part of the reason why I grew up so weird, the weird little guy, because um, I. <laughs> I grew up extremely Christian. I went to Christian schools for like a very long time. And uh, they really pounded in you. They make you like, you know, you recite all these verses, you like learn all these hymns, like memorize quotes. And then for me, it was just like one day I woke up. It's kind of like when you read, like really pay attention to the lyrics to that song, Every Breath You Take for the first time. <laughs> you're like, oh, this is actually creepy as hell. <laughs> I don't know if I'm into this. Uh, <laughs> I, I did. I grew up. I grew up extremely Christian, um, so religious that I didn't. Um, I was told that uh, premarital sex is wrong, uh, and I still think that. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. I got you. Um, I got you. <laughs> I will say I don't. I don't believe that anymore, but. Let's say the first time I had sex, it didn't feel totally right. You know what I mean? There, there was definitely a moment when I was like, maybe this is a crime against God. <laughs> Man, that joke really splits a room sometimes. That was fun though. Um, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I, things happen, you know, like you grow up Christian and like, I feel like your view of sex when you grow up that way is like weird and like it's still kind of like, you know, holds me back sometimes in, in ways I don't fully understand. Like, um, one, the, people do this thing when you're out to eat and uh, you get a really good dessert um, and they're eating the dessert. Sometimes people will say this thing that makes me uncomfortable when they say, wow, this chocolate cake is better than sex. Uh, it's like, first of all, gross, right? Gross thing to say. Uh, so, you know, it always just makes me think that, um, I wish the first time you had chocolate cake was like as awkward as the first time you had sex. <laughs> you're like eating it, and you're like, hey, am I doing this right? <laughs> I apologize to everyone at the table. <laughs> and like, second time, second time you have cake, it's always better than the first time. Like, everyone knows this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I went. You no, know, I went to this Christian school, and I also I didn't do myself any favors because I I did school plays, so I was very involved in the dramatic community. Um, was anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah. yeah. I used to ask. I used to ask people like who said yes, like what roles they did in plays, but then I would just become like very jealous of audience members. <laughs> I would never get good roles. Um, I would always I would always get cast. 
as like a villain. Um, but not like the main villain. I was always just like a minor douchebag kind of character. I would always like have one line and it'd be something like, Hey boss, fresh meat. <laughs> you know? And then I just like wait for like someone in a Peter Pan costume to like kick me in the chest. And that was like all I got to do. Uh, I remember I had I had this one theater director where he um, his thing was he made us all like write backstories for all of our characters, um, which that's like a cool idea um, and fun and all that. But <laughs> it's cool if you're the lead. Um, it's like a little harder when you're like the milkman. Um, <laughs> I was writing things like, my father was a milkman. Uh, I have 2% running my veins. You know? uh, it's, never, it's never cool. Uh, you probably picked up on that, not cool person. Um, it's like, even in elementary, I always had a hard time being cool. I think the problem was that I thought the teachers were really cool um, and smart and funny. And I thought my friends were just bad. Uh, <laughs> and I remember I used to get in a lot of fights with my friends in elementary where I would say things like, Miss Goodman doesn't suck, you suck. You know? Or like, like I was like wearing a wire and like working for the teachers. <laughs> like I would say things like, you can't talk about Nurse Humphreys like that. <laughs> and then I'd like run to her and she'd throw me a hard candy. I'd catch it in my mouth like, <laughs> and then she'd be like, good, now go find out if the soccer team smokes. And right on it. Uh, I'll go do that. <laughs> uh, 